So this is my bag. Now this bag goes with me almost everywhere I go. Now you have to understand where I'm at. It's not unusual to find places where you're 75 to 100 miles between human beings. And that's not between buildings, it's not between gas stations, not even between houses where you can find. That's 75 miles between actually seeing another human being and nothing in between it. So I tend to have a bit more. Now this pack probably weighs 30, 40, maybe a bit north of that, uh, pounds. Uh, some people couldn't carry it. Um, kind of a big portly guy, so it's not a problem for me. Now before I talk about my pack though, let's talk about my EDC kit. This is my everyday carry. What you see here is what if I were stranded somewhere and had to pack it out, this is what would be on my person at the time you met me, not counting that pack. So let's start over here. I got a neck knife. This is a Columbia River Knife Works. It's a Tonto cut, uh, really nice little neck knife. Fits right in the sheath, hangs around your neck. You use the holy hell out of it. If you don't have one, get one. Got a sidearm, always keep that. A cigar cutter, because if I'm really prepared, I'm gonna have a cigar with me. So fingernail clippers, because they're always in my pocket. Got my keys. Now that's got a little knife sharpener on it. It's got a little file. There's a file in there. There's a ceramic and a uh, carbide deal on there. Um, I'll have a spare magazine, flashlight. Um, I'll point out, none of the stuff you see here is terribly expensive. I don't like buying really expensive stuff. This little Bushnell flashlight, I think you can get for $20, $25. They're not that bad. And it's really bright. It's got the blue, the red, the um, high beam, the low beam, all that stuff. Uh, keep a, a lighter. Got to shake it up a bit. And sometimes it works. There it goes. I like to keep that, keep it filled in my pocket. Always got my sunglasses and some safety glasses. Uh, both of these are actually safety glasses. I keep these because I have been known to trumps around the woods at night. And I can tell you the first time you get a branch in your eyeball because you don't have anything protecting your eyes, you will suddenly see the value in that. I will have a multi-tool of some sort. This particular one is a Leatherman Skeletool. It's got just pliers, knife, Phillips screwdriver, uh, clips onto a belt loop or onto a pocket. Really handy. There's a handkerchief in there. There's a zillion uses for that. This is the knife that will be strapped to my waist right now. This is a K-Bar Short Tanto. Really nice, nice knife. I like it a lot. However, the one problem I have with it, you can see you've got an ink pen right next to it for scale. It's really too big to be a small knife, and it's too small to be a big knife. I will probably be replacing that with something in the Bowie family, just because I like Bowies. The next blade that I will have is a Fremont Knives. Um, this is a Farson Hatchet. This thing is the fucking bomb. You can take this, hold it on in, beat the holy crap out of the end of it, split wood. You can skin an elk. It's got a blade all the way around the end of it. It's got pericord on here if you happen to need some cordage. It's just a phenomenal tool. Look them up. Fremont Knives has some incredible stuff. Um, of course, I'll have some cash on me, my wallet with my identification. I've got my little um, tomahawk up there. It was a SOG tomahawk. Got it on sale. Put a different handle on it. Um, I got it up there. I don't really have that with me. But this, a lot of people buy stuff like this um, for using in bushcraft. This is a great, fancy looking. You could probably kill a zombie with it. And that'd be great. It is terrible for cutting wood for anything of any practical purpose. This blade having the sharp edges on each end, it gets stuck in something, doesn't cut it fully. Get yourself, take this, throw it away, get one of these or something like that. Much better option. Again, cash. But, and also, I'll probably have this guy stuck, or something like that, stuck in the belt. A uh, little pry bar, it's handy as all bloody hell. You never know when you're going to need to pry something open. Just get some leverage on a log, on a door, whatever it is. It's handy, and it it weighs a little bit, but it's really worth it. Um, so overall, yep, this is what I've got on me at any given time. Um, next up, no, I don't always have a bar of Irish Spring, although I don't deny that that would be a great thing to have because you get to stinking when you're out there. Anyway, this is my everyday carry. Next video, we're going to go into what's in this bag, this big heavy bag here.